Starting off our list today at number 10, we have Liam Hensworth. Thanks to Miley Cyrus's new hit song, Flowers, it's been number one on the billboard for three weeks, and because the song is so popular, it resurfaced a couple of clips that shows Liam Hensworth visibly cringing at his ex-wife Miley Cyrus on the red carpet during interviews. In one video, Miley could be seen twerking on Liam at a Vanity Fair Oscars after party in February of 2019. As the two were being interviewed, Liam then backed away quickly and looked incredibly uncomfortable as she danced for the cameras. To which he responded by saying, don't do it, don't do it, you're scarring everyone on the red carpet. Miley then immediately stopped and glanced awkwardly at the camera. In another clip uploaded, the couple could be seen attending the Avengers Endgame premiere and the singer tried to pose cheekily with her husband and she made this move to lick his neck and Liam was displeased and told Miley to behave for once. And when he went on to cling onto her waist, she seemed to be very annoyed at his gesture and pushed his hand away which resulted in him walking away while she continued posing on her own. Number 9, Dakota Johnson What was supposed to be a sweet mother and daughter moment during the Oscars red carpet show ended up becoming one of the night's most awkward interviews. When ABC host Laura Spencer asked the actress Melanie Griff if she was going to see her daughter's racy movie Fifty Shades of Grey. The actress would then quickly respond no before her daughter Dakota Johnson scowled and said maybe one day. However, then her mom would respond by saying I don't think I can. I think it would be strange. Well, she's a good actress. I don't need to see that to no, know she's good. The subject was obviously still a sore subject and the sticking point between the pair as Dakota then jumped into a pouting teenager for a moment before snapping at her mother by saying, all right, you don't have to see it, Jesus Christ. The uncomfortable exchange between the two then set social media on fire, inspiring some harsh criticism and some pretty serious tweets. However, near the end of the night, Melanie would opt to tell Dakota that she would watch the film just so she could smooth things over between her and her daughter. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this? video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in number 8, we have Shailene Woodley. So during most interviews, Shailene Woodley is always known for being really blunt when it comes to her answering questions, especially when the questions make her feel uncomfortable. During one incident on the red carpet, Shailene had a pretty awkward encounter that caused her to be dumbfounded when it came to the reporter's question. In the interview, the reporter looked at the actor and then out of nowhere, asked her if she was hungry before noting that she herself was hungry. Shailene then reacted in a way that was pretty awkward and rude in the moment as she looked at her interviewer like she was crazy and said, well, you should probably eat. I don't think any of us really blame Shailene in this situation for being rude as it was such a weird question and comment to come from a reporter. Not to mention there were so many questions that the reporter could have asked her, but she chose to ask the actor if she was hungry because you aren't going to get a genuinely nice answer to that question. Number seven, Selena Gomez. During a red carpet interview in 2017, Billboard Woman in Music event, Selena would be asked about how Justin Bieber impacted the person she is today and the singer and actor responded by being a little standoffish when she said, I don't think anyone else cares. I think for me, what's been great is that I've been able to live the life I wanted for myself and it doesn't always look the way people think it should. But it's not really my concern anymore. Look, my family is great, my health is great, I love deeply and that's just who I am. I'm not really ashamed. While the actress claimed that no one really cared about her and Justin's relationship, the Twitter reactions would definitely prove otherwise to Selena's response as one fan would say, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber will definitely last this time if they're both on the same page romantically. And then another fan would note, so as dumb as this sounds, I'm so happy when I heard Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez are back together. It's that relationship I basically grew up with and I feel as if I'm invested in. My heart was so full when I heard the news. Even today, people are still fond on the idea that the former couple may cross paths yet again in the future, and it's gotten to the point that every time Justin is happy with another woman, his fans still chant Selena's name. Number six, Jim Carrey. Back in 2017, Jim Carrey was clearly just really bored, so the comedian decided he would randomly show up to a New York red carpet event. While on the red carpet, he made his way to a reporter, and then he ended up telling her that the only reason he 
showed up to the event is because he was trying to find the most meaningless event he could attend. If the interview wouldn't get any more funnier due to his odd behavior, he then went on this really weird rant where he stated that icons and personalities don't really exist by saying, I don't believe in icons, I don't believe in personalities. I believe that peace lies beyond personality and invitation in disguise, beyond the red S on your chest that makes bullets bounce off. I believe that it's deeper than that. I believe we're a field of energy dancing for itself and I don't care. He then turned into one of his comedic characters before walking away when he came to the conclusion to his rant and said, we don't matter. Number five, Kim Kardashian. Back in 2019, Kim Kardashian awkwardly interrupted her older sister during an interview on the E! People's Choice Awards red carpet. When E! anchor Juliana Rancy asked Kourtney Kardashian who designed her bra bearing glittering suit, she began to say she didn't plan her answer in advance, but then she was cut off when Kim decided to lunge in front of her and start to hype their new fragrance collaboration by saying, all that matters is that we're wearing KKW diamond. We're all wearing that. She then went on to tell Courtney, I was saving you since you didn't know who you were wearing. That was my save. Courtney then went on to correct Kim by saying, no, it was Naeem Khan. I just didn't know how to pronounce it. Despite the awkward moment, Courtney didn't appear to mind the publicity, but Kim didn't need to interrupt her sister's interview to support her new line, as the world was already talking about it. Number four, Jennifer Lawrence. So back in 2012, Joss Hutcherson was in an interview on the red carpet for the Catching Fire press tour when Jennifer Lawrence thought it would be a good idea to punk her co-star while he was in mid-interview by asking him how his rash was doing. Later, Josh would then open up about the incident on The Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, and there he would reveal that Jennifer had this history of punking him, and while making rounds on the red carpet, he then admitted at one time mid-interview, she breezed past him and asked him, hey Josh, how's the rash doing? Josh then looked extremely embarrassed before he went on to note that Jennifer was actually really crazy. The reporter then went on to question Josh about the incident, and he said, oh my rash, yeah, my rash is doing fantastic. Don't worry about that, I love Jennifer. The actor was obviously really uncomfortable with Jennifer's uncalled move. Now he wanted to end the interview and opted to say, I gotta go back to take care of the rash before running away from his interview. Number three, Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is known for speaking her mind. So back in 2013, after she had a mouthful to say after a not so good interview with Access Hollywood's correspondent, Laura Saltman, the Anaconda rapper would then throw some serious shade at the reporter on the red carpet after Laura asked the rapper about her recent Twitter rant, which included catty words about fellow American Idol judge Mariah Carey. And she snapped back and refused to answer the question. When Laura asked, are you looking forward to the end of American Idol, because I know there were Twitter comments you made today that caused quite a stir. Nikki would then respond by saying, that question didn't even make sense, so if you want to insuate what you're talking about, I'm not going to. Before Laura could even respond, Nikki would then roll her eyes, say goodnight, and walk away. In light of the diss, Saltman then decided to express her feelings in a blog posted to Access Hollywood's website, where she labeled Nikki as a mean girl and cyberbullying, perpetuating the problem of social media. Number two, Amber Heard. Back in 2015, Amber would be captured giving her mom a stern lesson on the red carpet about the rules she has to follow as her mom joined her at a glitzy film premiere. At the time, Amber was still married to Johnny Depp and she decided to bring her mother along for the ride at a screening of Johnny's new flick at the time, Black Mass, at Toronto's International Film Festival. Her proud mom then watched from the sidelines as Amber oozed in the striking black dress in front of the camera. However, the actress was less than impressed when she spotted her mom talking to a nearby cameraman. In a video captured, the star's mom could be seen in the video identifying herself to a man from Kiss 92.5 where she proudly gushed saying she was Amber's mom. Amber then stormed towards her mother and interrupted the interview. And in the video, you could see Amber's face. It was so stony that she may as well have been embarrassed by her mom in front of friends at a playground. She then quickly grabbed her mother, gave her a warning by saying never make eye contact. 
And coming in at number one today, we have Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman wasn't necessarily rude, but she did get a pretty funny response from Tom Middleston when she briefly interrupted him during an interview at the Golden Globes one year. Tom was in the middle of his interview talking to Liza Kashi about one of his shows, and Nicole decided to insert herself in between Tom and Liza, and then quickly said, that's enough, enough talking. Well, Nicole was clearly just pulling Tom's leg. At first, he was a bit taken back by Nicole's actions and it did take him a bit to notice that Nicole was doing a quirky little bit. Once the actor realized Nicole was only joking, he then quickly joined in on the fun. He then conducted a quick impromptu moment in the interview with Nicole and it was definitely a moment that was awkward for a second but then everybody laughed it off. At number 10 we have Britney Spears. After having a pretty public mental breakdown, Britney Spears made a spectacle of smearing food across her face in a restaurant. Britney was described as acting weird by fellow staff and celebrities present at the time of the incident. While sitting at her table, Britney started to play dress up with her dinner. While many were left feeling concerned and disturbed by the incident, the staff were quick to check on the star and escorted her from her table and out of the restaurant. Britney would then be later informed that she was no longer welcome in the restaurant or on the hotel grounds itself. Now, her behavior herself wasn't a sin or rude behavior. However, how she portrayed herself in public and how she never issued an apology for her actions definitely made some people raise some eyebrows. Luckily for Britney, after she cleaned herself up, the restaurant lifted its span of two years and she was later pictured celebrating her 28th birthday. Now, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Number nine, Ariana Grande. Ariana once got banned for life from a donut shop after the star was caught on camera licking a bunch of donuts she didn't pay for. In 2015, the star entered the Wolfie Donut Shop with some friends. When the clerk went to the back room, Grande would proceed to lick some donuts that she didn't pay for. Later, the owner of the restaurant watched the video and would end up banning her from the location for life. They would also go to try press charges against her. However, nothing ever went through with the charges because the incident would have only cost $4 for the donut she didn't pay for. The owner, however, was very upset with Ariana and said not even an apology from Grande would have caused him to change his mind. Unfortunately for Grande, the incident would have caused her her chance to be booked to play a gig at the White House, and she would later go on to make jokes about herself for the incident. At number eight, we have Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose was once kicked out of a bar in New Orleans for allegedly throwing fries at the wait staff. The star was described by the owner as being a child because she threw a big tantrum in the middle of the restaurant. After she threw the tantrum, the staff booted her from the establishment, where she then started to curse out the bartender and even began to throw food at the staff member. Ruby later would write a Facebook post where she didn't deny throwing the fries. However, she did explain why she did it. Ruby claimed that they waited 60 minutes for the fries and over 90 minutes for food that never showed up to the table. When they asked the bartender what was taking so long, he offered Ruby and her table some free drinks. When the star told the bartender no thanks, she said he started to mock her and her friends. At one point, the bartender even told her to go call her sponsor, and that's when the star reacted to throwing a french fry at the staff member. Ruby would later say she regretted how she acted, and maybe she wouldn't throw french fries again. But maybe next time, the bartender wouldn't be so insensitive. Number seven, Stuart Raw. Not only has Stuart been kicked out of Nobu, but he's also been banned from the popular Japanese restaurant. Back in 2012, the New York Post reported that the billionaire was banned for life as he tried to bribe people to give up their table for him. He then continued to call the manager Sharon, demeaning names, while he was escorted out of the restaurant. However, the drama wouldn't stop there. Stewart would then send an email to Nobu co-owner Drew demanding that the manager be fired and seat seat some big name celebrities such as Leonardo DiCaprio, Alicia Keys, and Mark Wahlberg. This also isn't the first time the billionaire hasn't played well with others, as the star has allegedly started fights with Tiger Woods and has even been thrown out of a celebrity Hamptons party after being labeled a stalker. If we learned anything from Stewart, it's that just because you have money, it doesn't give you the right for a free pass. Number six, Jamie Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy once helped save a woman in a car crash after getting kicked out of a restaurant in Houston. After performing at the Houston Improv, the comedian decided to head over to the Yard House for some drinks with his 
his friends. However, the management staff at the art house had to ask Jamie to leave and proceeded to escort the star out of the building for using profanity with the wait staff. After leaving the establishment, without a fight, Jamie decided he wasn't ready to go home for the night and proceeded to head to a different bar. Around 2.40 am, when the star was walking to the next location, a car flipped over up onto the sidewalk where they were walking just 10 feet in front of them. Jamie and his entourage then proceeded to help the two women out of the smoking car. Number 5. Jamie Foxx Stars witness Jamie Foxx get kicked out of a restaurant while he was assaulted at his table. Jamie was reportedly having dinner at the restaurant when a customer approached his table and complained to him that him and his friends were being too loud. When the group proceeded to not care, the person yelled, you don't want to mess with me? I'm from New York. Jamie then fired back, F you, I'm from Oakland. The person then began to charge at Fox and some witnesses even said Fox began to fight back and took the person down. Both parties were eventually thrown out of the restaurant for their bad behavior. Number four, we have Dennis Rodman. Charles Oakley had to once kick Dennis Rodman out of his steakhouse for eating off of other people's plates. Charles said he agreed to meet with Dennis at his steakhouse after the two made an appearance at a Miami event together. However, before he arrived, he got a phone call from his manager telling him to get to the location as fast as he could. When Charles arrived to the location, he looked through the window and saw Dennis eating, then moving to the next table and eating some more. Charles went straight up to Dennis and asked him what he was doing. Dennis responded by saying, I'm relaxing and trying to entertain. Now Charles clearly wasn't impressed with the star's action and proceeded to kick him out of the restaurant. He then told the basketball star to never come near him again, destroying their relationship off the court. What Dennis thought was a joke clearly wasn't and he should have known better than to do that in a high class restaurant. At number three, we have Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage was once kicked out of a restaurant after being mistaken for being homeless. Now, the Oscar winner was at the Laurie Prime Rib restaurant located in Las Vegas. In a video later obtained by The Sun, you could see the star sitting on the restaurant sofa in a drunken state. Now, it's easy to see why the restaurant would have mistaken the star first as being homeless considering he was wearing cheetah print PJ pants and he had no shoes on. While waiting for the table, he was acting rowdy and proceeded to get into an altercation with the staff. Even after being escorted out of the restaurant, Cage continued to argue with the staff while trying to go back in. While Nicholas did ignore to comment about the incident, he did say his work did help him avoid getting into situations like the one at the restaurant. Number two, Jenna Fisher. Now, Jenna actually wasn't kicked out of a restaurant in real life. However, her character Pam in the comedy show The Office was. It all started when Jenna decided to tweet a photo of her pictured in front of the restaurant where she asked if she should try to go in. Pam in the show was so tipsy, she continually began to fall out of her chair and display some pretty rude behavior. It got to the point that the restaurant owner stated she was no longer welcome back at the restaurant chain ever again. Number one. James Corden. Recently, James Corden was banned from a famous New York City restaurant after being a jerk to wait staff. The owner of the restaurant, Keith McNally, posted to his Instagram to state the comedian was effectively banned from his famous bistro after he became one of the most abusive customers to enter location since it opened. So you're probably wondering what led James to be banned? Well, Keith detailed two examples of how the star misconducted himself after the restaurant which led to his ban being indefinite. The first example is he was extremely nasty to servers, demanded drinks to come to his table and that they be comped altogether. The second incident took place when James wife Julia received her egg yolk omelette only to find that there was some egg whites mixed in. The omelette was then remade and brought back to the table with fries instead of a salad. James then continued to yell at the staff that they didn't know how to do their jobs. Eventually the situation was resolved when the floor manager decided to step in. James has yet responded to Keith's allegation. However, if one thing's clear, he definitely won't be eating at this location for a while. Coming in
at number 10 today we have Megan Fox. Back in 2009, Transformers star Megan Fox would be branded as dumb, ungracious, rude, and an unbearable actress by crew members of the multi million dollar film franchise. As soon as the actor came out to diss the director, Michael Bay, by claiming that he objectified her on the set, the furious crew members who have stayed anonymous would post a long open letter to Megan on the director's official website and signed it as the loyal Transformers crew. In it, they tore into Megan as they labeled her as a second rate Angelina Jolie who was disliked across the set by her diva like behavior. The letter has since been removed from the site, but not before thousands of fans saw it. In the letter, the crew would claim that Michael made Megan the next Angelina Jolie, but as time went on, the crew noticed that she was no Angelina because Angelina was professional and Megan was as dumb as a rock in both Transformers movies. The crew also went on to call her the grump of the set and claim that she was the most ungracious person anyone could ever fathom. While the crew tried to welcome her, she just became really rude and later twisted the story when she was fired from the set for her poor behavior. Coming at number 9, we have Tom Cruise. Since 2019, film sets have had some pretty strict guidelines to protect everyone working on the set. And while many people were stuck inside, the entertainment industry was the only thing keeping people's hopes and spirits alive. So it was pretty understandable when Tom Cruise caught members of the Mission Impossible 7 set messing around, he expressed his frustrations, but the way he chose to do it was a little out there and really improper. As first reported by The Sun, after Cruise saw two of the members standing too close to one another in front of a computer screen, he told the crew, if I see you do it again, you're effing gone. In the audio obtained by The Sun, Cruise could be heard saying, we are the gold standard. They're back there in Hollywood making movies right now because of us, because they believe in us and what we're doing. I'm on the phone with every effing studio at night, insurance companies, producers, and they're looking at us and using us to make their movies. We are creating thousands of jobs, you mother effers. I don't ever want to see it again, ever. Cruz took the 2019 situation seriously, and that's why he was so strict about enforcing the guidelines on set and scowled the crew for taking advantage of the safe environment that the team in place helped create. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Number 8, Leah Michelle. It seems like Leah Michelle was such a complete diva on the set of Glee that she had zero respect when it came to her cast and crew members. The actor who has been at the center of racism after she was called out by former co-star Samantha Ware on Twitter, Ima Edwards, who was featured in the sixth season on the series, then come out to say that she heard from multiple people that Leah called extra as cockroaches behind the scenes. While Leah went on to treat many of her co-stars and crew members poorly, they would even describe working with Leah was like working in their own personal hell, and it really made them question their jobs in the entertainment industry. It's also been said that Michelle even treated the crew members poorly as she would micromanage the set and tell people how to do their jobs, and she would even throw tantrums and hold sets up for hours, forcing crew and co-stars to work long hour days. Number 7, Christian Bale. During the production of the 2009 sequel Terminator Salvation film, lead actor Christian Bale would be caught on tape having a meltdown. Just a few months after the film debuted, the audio recording would surface and it was clear that it was made without the actor's knowledge as he was shocked to know he was exposed by an unnamed person on the set. In the audio, Christian could be heard going off on the film's cinematographer Shane Hurlbut, who had walked onto the scene to check a light during the filming of a scene. This apparently was the second time that he had done it, and Bale became incensed, hitting Shane with a handful of F-bombs as he threatened to smash his lighting equipment if he did it one more time. What made matters worse is that Christian even threatened to quit the film if Shane committed this offense one more time without being fired. For Shane on his part, he was very apologetic, but then again, he couldn't get into a shouting match with the film star and not get fired. Christian would then later come out apologizing for the incident, but the two haven't worked on the same project since. Number 6, Katherine Heigl. Katherine Heigl was at the height of her career when she joined Grey's Anatomy. However, after she decided to leave the show, it seems like the star would find herself blacklisted from sets due to her poor behavior. With cast and crew members back in 2007, Katherine would badmouth her own movie Knocked Up, which would prove that she was really hard to work with. However, it wouldn't be until 2008 when Katherine would really burn all her bridges in Hollywood after she was nominated for an Emmy and withdrew 
her name for consideration because she felt like the Grey's Anatomy season didn't give her enough material to be nominated. She would then come out to say in a statement that she didn't feel like she was given enough material to warrant an Emmy nomination in an effort to maintain the integrity of the Academy organization. She was withdrawing her name and the whole world would be shocked. But an Emmy nomination is an Emmy. And if you feel like you weren't given enough material, you still take the nomination because sometimes these nominations only come around once in your lifetime and some people never even find themselves being nominated. Since the Grey's Anatomy creator Shonda Rhimes has been greatly offended and fans have been totally turned off by Catherine's behavior as Shonda worked really hard for her show and this Emmy nomination was a big deal. Number 5. Thomas Gibson Actor Thomas Gibson would find himself being fired from the CBS drama Criminal Minds in 2016 after 11 seasons in the wake of an onset altercation with a producer. ABC Studios and CBS TV Studios would then come out to say in a statement that Thomas was dismissed from Criminal Minds and that his character's exit would be addressed in the show at a later date. With Gibson's character only appearing in two episodes that year, the actor was set to never appear in a show again after the studio conducted an internal review of an incident that alleged Thomas kicked a producer on the show who TMZ identified to be Virgil Williams. It's also been said in the past Thomas has been known to have violent outbursts. This even included one with an assistant director in 2010 who claims Thomas shoved him. This behavior would then result in the studio to send Thomas to anger management classes. However, after the studio realized even the classes weren't working with Thomas's behavior, they decided just to let him go from the show altogether. Number four, Mike Myers. While the cat in the hat was a children's show, we all enjoyed watching come to life. Apparently, Mike Mike Myers made the reality a daily nightmare for the cast and crew members. Amy Hill would then come out to describe how bad it actually was to work with Mike. Not only would Mike be rude to the cast and crew, but he actually would have them sit around all day waiting for him to show up on set. He also made the set hire someone to follow him around while he was in a cat costume and feed him chocolates. Whenever he needed the chocolate, the guy would run over and hand feed the chocolates to him on the set. Well, one can only imagine what it would look like to see a grown man in a costume running around a set being fed chocolates by another human being, I can only imagine what the snack wrangler would put on their resume to describe that very job. Number 3. Christina Aguilera Sources close to the voice production team have claimed that Christina Aguilera was nothing but a woman of people as she was extremely rude to both the crew and the fans on the show. The sources would also say that Christina didn't want anyone to get close to her. If someone went to shake her hand, she would even yell at them not to touch her. While it's not uncommon for celebrities to want their personal space, Christina was just taking things a little too far when she started to freak out and yell at people to get out of her space, but they were only just standing in the same room as her. The crew also went on to note that it was actually pretty unpleasant to work with the diva as she was really demanding and told everyone they should respect her. While the crew tried to deal with the situation the best they could, Christina just kept continuing to go on and ruin her image with her resentless wicked witch vibe. While the crew didn't want to hate her, they would state out of all the artists they have worked with, she seemed to be the least pleasant and compassionate out of all the bunch, and it was disheartening. Number 2. Ben Stiller Ben Stiller is one of the few major celebrities that you rarely hear anything good or bad about, but maybe that's because he's secretly just a wonderful man and likes to keep his bad behavior on the down low. However, many people who have claimed Ben Stiller is great to work with, the Inquirer would draw a portrait that wasn't so full of sunshine and rainbows. While Ben was working on the set of The Little Fockers, he definitely got on someone's bad side as the cast and crew made some pretty disturbing allegations when it came to his behavior. Apparently when working on the set, Ben would earn the nickname Little Fokker as he alienated most of the cast and crew on the film in his vain self-absorbed behavior. And when he wasn't obsessing over his looks, he would be throwing temper tantrums and screaming at the underlings. Ben even would go on to fire an assistant director and demanded star treatment for his entourage, personal chefs, hair and makeup minders, and refused to interact with the underlings unless it was to yell at them. His ego has gone off the charts and he even went off on a female director for a perceived mistake 
and screamed at the top of his lungs that he never wanted to work with her again before storming off the set. He then refused to come back until she was gone and the set let her go the next day and brought in a male replacement to appease Ben. And coming in number one today we have Bill Murray. In April Bill Murray's film would be shut down for an investigation into his alleged inappropriate behavior. That set a dark tone amid a resurface on set stories that kept Hollywood whispering for decades. In 1991 it said that Disney was even forced to hire bodyguards to protect the cast and crew of the 1991's What About Bob film. After the actor hurled a glass ashtray at Richard Dreyfus and threatened to throw a female producer across a parking lot, despite his enduring status of being a beloved Hollywood bad boy, Murray has repeatedly been accused of violently clashing with his co-stars from buttheading to inexcusable and unacceptable language on numerous sets stretching all the way back to the 1970s. It's even been said after multiple outbursts on the What About Bob set, everyone would walk off production and fly back to LA and the film only resumed after Disney hired some bodyguards to physically separate Bill from his co-stars and crew members in between takes. Coming at number 10 today we have Emma Roberts. Back in 2013, Star Magazine would report that Emma Roberts was a nightmare to work with on the set of the show American Horror Story. Emma, who played a movie star named Madison on the program, allegedly on season three, the star's behavior has become so intolerable that her co-star and actress, Gaborey Sidibe, who played Queenie, called Roberts out for her odd behavior by telling the actress to cut her attitude and stop being rude. An insider would then also tell Tell the magazine that Emma's behavior was so bad, she even started to act like she was above everyone else on the set. And the magazine would also state that the feud between the two actresses erupted due to Emma's diva like behavior on the set, as Emma was complaining about the tiniest things and she even refused to speak to certain crew members. While it seems like Emma was on the outs with one of her co stars and some of the crew members, she was getting along well with the creator, writer, and producer, Ryan Murphy. Hey, my little peaches, are you liking this video? So far so don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Number 9 Will Smith If you are a fan of the show Fresh Prince of Bel Air then you know that Janet Hubert who played the beloved character Aunt Viv mysteriously vanished from the show at the end of season 3. And then in an interview with Atlanta radio station in 1993, Will Smith would try to call out his co-star by saying, I can't say straight up that Janet Hubert wanted the show to be the Aunt Viv a Bel Air show because I know she's going to dog me in the press. She has basically gone from a quarter of a million dollars a year to nothing. She's mad now, but she's been mad all along. She said once, I've been in the business for 10 years and this snotty nosed punk comes along and gets a show. No matter what, to her, I'm just the antichrist. Then later, Janet would come out to criticize the show and she would express her dislike for Will Smith by explaining how difficult he is to work with on set and she even swore that she would never appear in a reunion episode when she said, there will never Never be a reunion with an a hole like Will Smith. He is still an egomaniac and he has not grown up. This constant reunion thing will never happen in my lifetime unless there is an apology, which he doesn't know the word for. Coming number eight, we have Millie Bobby Brown. Back in July, Millie Bobby Brown started to make headlines everywhere after she decided to diss the Stranger Things writers in an interview with The Rap. In the interview, Millie would discuss her interests in some of the gruesome changes changes occurring within the Stranger Things universe. One particular change would involve the show's creators getting rid of main characters by making them pass away, as Millie believes the cast of the characters has grown too much throughout the run of the series. And when she was looking around at the fourth season's premiere, she noted she didn't realize how large the cast had gotten. She also added that she thinks the show's creators are too sensitive to get rid of characters before she stated, we need to have a mindset of Game of Thrones kill me off, they tried killing David off, and then they brought him back. The Duffer brothers then responded to Millie's statement of calling them sensitive sallies by saying that she was hilarious before adding that they explored all options in the writing room and they don't want to make their show depressing. Number 7, Johnny Depp. After Amber Heard destroyed Johnny Depp's career, after he won his life back in 2022, you would think the actor would be on his best behavior. However, before his trial, there has been reports that Johnny had really odd behavior behavior on set. And back in December, it would be reported that during the filming of Jean de Berry, where he plays Louis the 15th, Depp was extremely rude towards the director and co-star Mywin Lebasco. And actor Bernard Mont 
Thiel would be the one to disclose the rumors during a French talk show called Don't Touch My TV Set back in October. The actor would reveal that Johnny and the director clashed throughout the entire set and that Johnny had been reportedly falling back into his old habits by saying, I've heard some noise from the shoot, very serious stuff. So Depp is an excellent actor when he comes on set, except sometimes at 6 in the morning, the crew is ready and nobody turns up. So of course, Mywin, who is the director, gets angry and the next day, she's the one who doesn't turn up. And then you got Johnny and she's not there. It's finished over this week, but it's going very, very badly. They don't get along at all and they're screaming at each other the whole time. Number 6, Amber Heard. It's clear that the word celebrity has definitely gotten to Amber Heard's head because while she was in the UK filming the scene for a crime thriller called London Fields, it said that the actor threw a huge tantrum on the set that brought the production to a temporary standstill. A source would then tell the Daily Mail that there were some people watching the shoe outside. Then Amber came out to film and the actress got visibly upset about the onlookers, particularly at an individual who was watching. The source then said right in the middle of the scene, she stopped and said, how am I supposed to do this when all I can see is that guy in my eye line? Then after Amber was done throwing her tantrum, the crew was forced to set up a screen so Amber could film her scene without any distractions. Number 5, Shia LaBeouf. So we all heard the rumors about Shia LaBeouf's behavior on the set of Don't Worry Darling. While Livia Wilde has claimed that Shy was making Florence Pugh feel uncomfortable while they were filming scenes due to his odd behavior on set, Shy would quickly deny Olivia's claims and say that he actually quit the film, which would cause Olivia to come out and double down on her claims that she fired him by saying, my responsibility was towards her. I'm like a mother wolf. Making the call was tricky, but in a way, he understood. I don't think it would have been a process he enjoyed. He comes to his work with intensity that can be combative. While Olivia went on to note that she would love to see Shy evolve, she would also say that Shy is a great loss to the film industry because he's so incredibly talented talented and he's unable to work due to his poor behavior. Later Olivia would even address Shai's behavior by saying, he has a process in some ways, seems to require combative energy and I don't personally believe that it is conductive to the best performances. Number 4, Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase used to be one of the busiest and best loved comedy actors around. However, somewhere along the lines, the tides would turn after he burned multiple bridges and became Became difficult and combative to work with. While Chase is known for being portrayed as a nice guy, behind the scenes, Chase has a reputation as being one of the least pleasant men in Hollywood to work with. The problem, according to his peers, is that Chase is very difficult to be around because you don't know what to expect when it comes to the star's actions. When the star decided to return to SNL after leaving, he ruffled everyone's feathers in the process. What made matters worse is that the actor even directed his brand of cruel humor at Terry Sweeney, who was SNL's first openly gay cast member and by all accounts chased through a slew of homophobic jokes surrounding Terry. Then after Chase was forced to apologize to Sweeney, Terry would say, he was really furious that he had to apologize to me. And it was just awful. He acted horrible to me. He acted horribly to everyone. And while many fans and crew members and co-stars have called out the actor on his poor behavior, it's clear that the actor doesn't even care and he's even even stated so. Number 3, Cameron Diaz. While Cameron Diaz became a rising star thanks to her role in the film Charlie's Angels, the star's air rising antics have cemented a reputation of the actress as being a spoiled star. While Cameron was working on the film Sweetest Thing, a source would claim that Cameron became so demanding that she needed her underarm shaved and she even had her personal assistant do it when they said she noticed between takes that she had some underarm stubble. And Instead of going back to her trailer, you know, to shave it herself, she lifts her arms high in the air and made her assistant do the demanding task right there in front of 200 extras. The source would then even claim that while filming, the actor messed up an easy line in a script 20 times just because she didn't like the scene. And after she kicked up a fuss to the director, she was able to get the line changed and then she bragged to her co-stars on set that she knew the director would do it her way. Number 2, Wahine Phoenix. 
Phoenix. When Joaquin Phoenix made an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live, things would get incredibly awkward after Joaquin talked about how much fun he had on the set. Jimmy then decided to surprise the actor with a blooper that was sent over by director Todd Phillips that would show that the film was everything but a good time. In the video, it would show Joaquin cursing out the Joker cinematographer, Lauren Cher, while trying to film a scene. In the video, you would see Joaquin saying, you know, just the constant whisper. Just shut the F up, dude. I know you started the effing share thing. Larry, you think it's so effing funny making fun of me. I'm an effing diva. It's not even an insult. Cher, really? She's a single actor, dance, fashion icon. How is that an effing insult? F, I can't do this, man. The actor was then visibly shaken by seeing the footage broadcasted on national TV, and it's clear that he thought he would get away with his poor behavior, but then he got called out by Jimmy Kimmel. Joaquin would then note that he was embarrassed by his actions, and sometimes movies get intense because you're a lot of people in a small place trying to find something so it can feel intense. And coming in number one today, we have Lindsay Lohan. When Lindsay Lohan was working on the set of Glee, her second day on the set wouldn't go down as the star's finest hour. Sources on the set would then give E! News exclusive details about Lindsay's guest appearance, which would include the actress being incredibly late to the set, and the production even had to send out a car to pick her up and bring her to the set. A source would then even say Lindsay was a total nightmare yesterday, as she was three hours late in the morning, and when she did finally arrive, she didn't want to be there, she did not want to work, and she had not memorized her lines, and she kept disappearing so no one could find her. E! News would also also then claimed that the crew members on the set were so less than thrilled by Lindsay's antics that they even gave her the nickname of that girl for adding that she rubbed them all up the wrong way by being disrespectful to everyone else's schedules.